Hey, welcome to a fresh new episode of the TD News Show and a happy witness day to everybody. This is your one-stop shop for news about tech, I mean tech news. And yes, I don't have any opening lines for today. So if you have any opening lines, uh, let me know in the comment section. And now uh, let's uh, start the show. And let's start the show with Apple because you are a owner, or I say a proud owner of a new shiny iPhone 12. Then you might be at a health risk. Apple has updated a support doc for the iPhone 12 lineup saying they may cause electromagnetic interference with medical devices such as pacemakers. The company added that the iPhone and MagSafe accessories should stay at least 6 inches or about 15 centimeters from the medical devices or twice at the distance if the devices are wirelessly charging. Now this does not only applies for iPhone this applies for every single device that emits electromagnetic waves yes they interfere with your those medical devices but if you don't have any uh, pre-existing medical condition should you be worried should an iPhone 12 or any of these devices uh, can harm you or can give you any major health risk well to be honest no and i know a few years ago there's been talks going around that uh, the radiation that comes from your smartphone uh, will give you dangerous or life-threatening medical conditions but to be honest it doesn't uh, the amount of radiation that your smartphone emits it does nothing and also it, there is no hard proof about that that it gonna give you any medical conditions or something like that so if you want a separate video talking about this topic uh let me know in the comment section and i will surely make a video about that but now uh let's talk about the next news which is um uh, kind of serious but also kind of funny so when the pandemic hit the government of uk decided or took an initiative that they will uh, give laptops uh, to vulnerable children so they can continue their education interact with their teacher so nothing can stop those uh, children to get their education and for that reason the government of uk ordered over a million laptops and distributed over 800,000 laptops and in paper in theory and in everything this sounds really really good and it it, it is good but uh, here's the problem uh, starts to happen well uh, some of those laptops are up or like pre-installed or in those laptops there are a, there is a pre-installed malware and the funny thing is this the malware is not anything new kind of malware it's a malware that has been uh, like it like detected by microsoft in 2012 so it's almost a decade old malware so that's where it is funny and so the uk government took some step about this issue and if you want to know more about uh, this topic i have linked down two articles one is from hexis and another is from the guardian both of them are good read so definitely go ahead and uh, check them out now uh, let's just talk about the next topic and uh, i'm gonna warn you for this one this is for only the bravest heart uh, this news is for the bravest heart among us because this story is very mysterious and where there is mystery there is spookiness so are you ready for the news are you ready well then well a mysterious amd gpu has been discovered in <laughs> as such of the singularity benchmark and the code name is nasira submit which to be honest kind of a pretty cool name for a gpu or a code name for a gpu now we cannot compare the uh, as such of the singularity numbers to any other gpus uh, because it has been tested with custom settings and that kind of makes it impossible but also interesting earlier this month we also got another uh, nasira <laughs> gpu leak but uh, that time it was point and also if we look closely at the benchmark we can see that there is two na uh, nasira na nahira whatever it is uh, submit and uh, so that indicates that it's a multi die gpu or multi gpu now first people were thinking it was two gpus and it was either navi 22 or navi 23 but a well-known leaker which the name i have to check wjm47196 yes that's a pretty cool name on the internet to have if you are a leaker or a famous one so he thinks that it is 
the rdna3 because recently we got another news which i covered in the last episode that the navi uh, 31 or the rdna3 is going to be a multi die gpu and it kind of indicates that there are two gpus and i don't think anybody would test two same gpus in the as of the singularity benchmark so it could be the rdna3 and to be honest i think it is but again this is a rumor so you know what to do take it uh, with a grain of salt and before getting into the next topic if you are enjoying this episode then uh, can you guys hit the like button like it would be very helpful for me because uh, the youtube algorithm hates me but it loves me when you guys hit the like button so uh, i will definitely appreciate that if you hit the like button now let's talk about the next topic cosine a chinese subsidiary for lenovo has recently published a video showing how they modded their ryzen notebook to run an rtx 3090 from the nvme to m.2 slot the system's internal m.2 nvme ssd was removed and an m.2 to pcie expansion cable was attached for allowing them to connect the rtx 3090 and this goes to show that the NVMe me m.2 slot or this form factor or the connector has so much potential but we are not using it's like using it to its full potential so who knows some day we going to get some interesting accessory or interesting use of the slot now talking about interesting the next uh, topic or the next story is very interesting because uh, from out of nowhere sony launched a new camera there is sony alpha one or the sony a1 their six thousand five hundred dollar full frame mirrorless 50 megapixel camera so it's a 50 megapixel full frame sensor and the major selling point except uh, the that 50 megapixel giant full frame sensor well it has 30 fps burst shooting when it comes to photo and when it comes to video it has 8 kits 30 and 4k 120 fps and yeah, six thousand five hundred dollars isn't a small amount of number, but the features that it's giving, and um, I think it's it's kind of justifiable. But again, we have to see how it performs because we all know what happened to R five and its eight K capability. But again, I'm a Sony suitor, so I kind of have faith and bias towards Sony a little bit, and also at the same time, uh, Sony's autofocus right now is better than Canon's, so that's the true guys so you want to hate me go ahead hate me but that's true it's honestly it is like sony's autofocus is on point or even sometimes better than canon's dual uh, pixel autofocus but right now we're going to talk about the quick news because this is the time for the quick news so let's talk about some quick news intel z hpc multi-chip module pictured intel invest additional 475 million dollars in vietnam intel partners with asus and colorful to launch its iris z graphics card to oems rtx 3070 max p is 30 percent faster than max q in msi gaming laptops nvidia encourages oems to less tgp and clock speed of nvidia rtx 30 series laptop gpus nvidia expands geforce now a game streaming service to turkey saudi arabia and australia there are 28 variants of geforce rtx 30 laptop gpus micron delivers industry's first one alpha drm technology courses upcoming mp600 pro gen 4 ssd promises speeds of 7 gigabyte per second n60 and rtfk80 announces partnership and a fake pc sneaker cyberpunk 2077 update includes a game breaking bug and lastly netflix just got a major audio upgrade for android users so that was it for today's techie stuff and if you want to know more about any of these stories all the links are linked down in the description so go ahead and check them now let's talk about some of the stuff i like let's start with tomb raider 2 because they got a new writer and director or the person that's gonna write and direct the tomb raider sequel and it's gonna be the showrunner of lovecraft country now if you don't know the lovecraft country i have talked about like in some previous video it's a lovecraftian story and if you don't know what lovecraftian is well it's horror it's thriller it's mystery but it's not that what you think that the atmosphere is the horror or the environment is that spooky thing and it's something otherworldly thing like you have to read lovecraftian stories to understand uh what lovecraftian genre is or what lovecraft is now if you think that it sounds lovecraft so it's going to be something like rom-com well no the uh inventor of this genre uh was uh hp lovecraft and he named this or the genre was named after him lovecraft so 
I definitely encourage you go ahead and check some Lovecraftian story. The one of the good ones is uh, all obviously the Call of Cthulhu, and it's one of the most famous ones. So go ahead and check out the Call of Cthulhu now. Now next one, Godzilla versus the Kong movie is gonna come to HBO Max at at March March thirty first. Oh my God, I'm fumbling so much. Now in the last episode, I talked about that uh, the the Godzilla versus Kong movie. Uh, it's it's not for me, and I'm I'm still saying it really is not for me uh like it's good i'm not saying uh the whole genre is bad it, it it's good okay uh, the, the whole monster japanese monster genre what they have uh, it, the monster universe i don't know what specifically they call but there is a name of that universe and if you are someone like me who really don't want to go to theaters to watch this movie well then you can watch it at march 31st in hbo max now let's talk about the last bit of the news for today the sundance film festival is going virtual reality the virtual reality film festival now uh, i have linked down uh in gadget article go ahead and check it out read it more about it yes guys if you can't tell by now i am a little bit tired today so if the episode is a little bit lower on the energy so i'm sorry uh, next episode is going to be much better so if you like this episode for any reason like it if you don't leave it a dislike and i think i'm gonna get more dislikes in this video than likes because i really don't have any energy left in my body but if you want to watch more videos from us check out this video right here and if you want to subscribe which i appreciate if you do that we'll do it by here and there's akash i'll see you guys in the next one peace